Well, how do there, chums? It's I, Captain of Prestige, and today, chums, for you guys. Out there, in the viewerverse, it looks like the expedition has finally landed on PlayStation 5. So let's hit on up a brand new save, shall we? And let's get into this. So here we go, Community Expedition 10, five weeks remaining. Brilliant. Let's jump on in. Let's go and do this. Awesome. So I'd imagine it's going to load in. It's got to spawn in, and uh, I'll show you which character I get. See you in a minute, people. Okay, well let's spawn on in, and let's see if it says anything different to what it normally says. Life support systems activated. Shield kinetic system online. Propulsion jetpack online. Multi tool aligning laser attachment operational. User initialization sequence. What the heck? <laughs> Just dropped me a freaking half mile there, didn't it? Let's turn the sound down a little bit. So. I don't think I heard anything different there. Nothing about, you know... Oh, hold on, we've got all this. Uh, this is the abandoned camp. Hold many mysteries. The expert... Da, 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 da. Lovely jubbly. Okay, well, I'm on top of that. So you, oh, fudge and heck. Someone else just landed right freaking next to me. You know what? Let's turn off multiplayer. And that's the first thing I think you should do inside of the viewerverse, people. So I'm going to put that as invite only. Disable that. Disable that. There's also PvP, and it's always set to anyone... I'm going to toggle that to no one. I don't want to get completely blasted. I did see somebody in my comments saying that they're, they're looking for Mac players and hunting them down and killing them. So yeah, turn it off maybe. Okay, right. Well, we've got loads of these sort of sentinel sort of pillars over here that I could start vandalizing and get myself some resources. I think I'll go do that in a bit. Um, right. Okay. Select the They Hear Us Milestone. Okay. And enter camp. They Hear Us Milestone. Select a Mondoed. Boom. Let's enter into the camp then. Cool. Can you actually see the missions underneath me? You can, can't I? I mean, I'm, I could move myself up just a teeny tiny little tiny bit, couldn't I? So we go. Let's just move myself up just a smidgen, I think. About there. I think that should do the trick. Hopefully, um, you'll be able to see all the mission text and everything that's above me should be okay. Hopefully, I'm not obs obscuring anything now, people. Right, okay. Well, we've, we're, we've entered into camp. Um, right, okay. Um, what else do I need to do? Enter into the camp. Reward semantic so blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, explore the abandoned camp. All right, fine. Let's do that then. Let's uh, in, enter into here. Harmonic lockdown in process. Rejected, rejected. Scan that memory register, because we need to get a code to put into those people inside the viewer verse. Okay, yes, we do. It would help if I actually had my microphone a bit closer, I think. Let's put that a bit closer. Hopefully that's a bit better for you. Hopefully you can hear me a bit better now, people. Right, okay, so we've got 7 plus 2, that's 8 and 9. 9. 9 plus 6, which is 15. And 7 minus 3, I think, is 5, isn't it? I'm going to have to write this down somewhere. Oh, heck. Okay, so 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 6, 15. 7 plus 15. And 3 is 5. Okay, right. So, access interface. Bum, 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 bum. And what we have to do is input the glyph override. So we need 9. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, we've got to click on these. So 9... So, 8, 9, boom, 15, okay, 15, chikapow, and 5. Your code might be different, people, so you might have to do your own math. Sorry. There we go, done. Done, done, diddly. And that should, that should do the trick. Hold on. Why did that not work? Yeah. Okay, I, I, I've done it, mate. It's in. It's freaking in, mate. Alright, well maybe that last one isn't it then. Um, I don't know. Okay. Remove glyph. Um, what was the last one? S 7 minus 5 or something, wasn't it? Oh, 7 minus 3. 
So four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's, it's, it's four. I got it wrong. I got the math wrong, people. There we go. That's done it. Okay, so here we go. And deactivate multi-tool seal. Why the fudge not? Nice. And go grab myself a multi-tool. And I might as well go and grab the multi-tool. Cool. Let's have that. Yep. Yeah, I will take multi-tool. Take multi-tool. Lovely jubbly. Head back on over here. And I'm going to find the ship location, I guess. Locate Desonant Spikes. Here we go! Chicka boom! And I guess I'm going to have to gallivant all the way over to get my ship. But is this going to let me now pop the badge? Hopefully it does. Looks like there's a base right next to me as well here, people. Because it's been a while coming to the PlayStation, it's, uh... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of bases. There's going to be a lot of comms balls. All right. All right, fine. Well, um, I've, I've gone around all of this. Might as well pick up the old scrap. There we are. Scrapper doodles. Dundly and done. All right, well, um, there's only this guy over here to interact with. He's got a walk warning beacon by him. Hello there, autophage. Let's, uh, let's go talk to him. Right, okay. The autophage flickers. Dying sparks lighting up its eyes. Whatever information was preserved inside within its circuits is buried beneath countless layers of corruption. Okay. Um, I'll just do that one. Sweet. Oh, okay. This, this is this is a bit new, isn't it? Have I got to put in the same blinking thing again? Oh, fudge. Okay. Um, let's come out of there then. Probe damaged registered registers. Four minus one is a three. Cool. Two plus seven is nine. And fifteen. It's not the hard maths, it's 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 just hard for me to remember the sequence. Okay, so here we go. Three, boom, nine, diddly d, chkapal, and the last one, which is fifteen. Chkapal. Dun dun diddly. A faint hiss escapes the autophage's rusty shell. Smoke and date vent together. Lost to the wind. Dump memory contents. Kzzt, a rose from dirt, kzzt, a construct of pure will. Finalize download, thank you. Complete memory dump, creating a copy of whatever data still flits around this hastily abandoned scrap. With the download complete, a section of the data is flagged by my exosuiters. Readable navigational coordinates. Done. Well, it looks like we've actually done this badge, peeps. So, why, why does it... Huh? What the fudge? Etched in glass. Okay, um, I wanted to do We Hear Us. Explore the abandoned camp. View details. Yes? Yeah, has gone. Investigate the camp and search for answers. Well, I, I think I've bloody done that, mate. All right, let's uh, scan like that then. Boom. Okay. Sentence echo detected. Well, I've, I've just spoke to you, mate. Just freaking done that. All right. Bum bum bum, dump memory. Let's see if it pops the badge now. It's a bit squiffy, isn't it? I just didn't press in L3. There we go. Now we've popped the blinking badge. Spoke with the autophage, 57 of 60. What? Okay. All right, fine. I think that's hex code. I think that's hex code, people. I think that we're going to unlock a little bit of code. I've already done a video on all of the code, actually, people, inside the viewer verse. So if you do want to see what all the hex code means inside of this expedition, put a video up there for you. Heck yes, I will. Right though, well we're doing okay. We've got this multi-tool here that seems to have a laser installed. I don't think it has a terrain manipulator, but at the moment I'm not overly too fast. Can I actually grab a terrain manipulator? Need carbon nano tubes and dehydrogen jelly. Let's just post that for now anyway. We'll get that installed in a moment, people. Because they always come in handy to have one of them. I'll just close off that little bit of dialogue. Alright, fine. And uh, let's go into the old expedition. Let's pop that first badge. Sweet. Right, we've got the Hermetic Seal right off the off. Nice, like it. Cool, they hear us. Crystallised Heart. What the fudge is Crystallised Heart when it's at home then? That's new. Fine, blueprints added to catalogue. Lovely jubbly. And anything else? Nope. Okay, well, we're going to have to gather some carpet then. Oh, fudge, am I, um, am I taking hazardy protection? No, I'm not. Okay, fine. All right, well, I'm going to blast this anyway. I'm going to grab some ferrite dust. And I did say I was going to go smash all them crystals up on that hill. I'm still going to go smash all those crystals up on that hill, people. Let's go do that. 
Take that, you! Okay, maybe I can't. I can get that one, though. We'll have that. We'll have some Adelantium, or whatever it is. Adelantium. Yep, we'll have that. Are you, are you carbon? You are carbon. Get here, you lovely, lovely carbon. And I need to go and grab myself a load of the uh, blue crystals so I can um, input my terrain manipulator. It's not part of the quest, people, but I do like to have a terrain manipulator. It can get you out of some sticky situations, especially if a storm rolls in or if you get chased by sentinel scutters, um, which, yeah, you don't want to be chased by sentinel scutters. It's a nice, easy way to escape them, to be honest. Right, okay, cool. Uh, we might as well grab, grab some more of this Atlantic. Okay, we're not going to get any of that then. All right, fine. All right, brilliant. Well, we've done that then. Where's... I need to get some dehydrogen. Uh, not dehydrogen. This blue stuff over here. I think it is dehydrogen. I don't know. Let's uh, zap it anyway. Yeah, dehydrogen. There we go. Dehydrogen. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you can tell that I haven't played this for a, a, a fair few days. Because, uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this update to pop, to be honest, people. I've done lots of interesting content in between those. Be sure to check my channel, just in case you've missed something that I've put out there. Yeah, a lot of stuff on um, the old lorry type stuff and whatnot. Oh, no, I need I need that. All right, well, I don't want to use up my carbon, so I'm just going to punch the shite out of these crystals. There we go. Chikapow. Let's, um, let's make those carbon nanotubes while I still can. Two lots of those. Done. And let's go over to my multi-tool. Let's see if we can get this installed. Well, I haven't made the dehydrogen gel yet, have I? So let's make the dehydrogen gel. Well, there we go. And then back to the multi-tool. There we are. We've got that installed decated, people. I wanted to do that before I did anything, just in case. Right, so we should have our ship somewhere located, shouldn't we? Oh, what the fudge was that? What the fudge is going on now? Okay, something's happening. But for whatever reason... I can't find that ship that I popped. It's probably because there's too many blinking message orbs all around here. All right, what about this one then? Venturing to space, launching to space, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there's my ship over this way. All right, fine. However, look, there's that ship over there. And it's only 18 minutes away. I could go and get that one. Or I could go get this ship and maybe use this as a trade-in against that other ship. Yeah, let's go this way. Let's go get this ship because it's blinking closer. Uh oh, I'm going to run out of jetpack fuel. I'm going to fall in the freaking hole if I'm not careful. All right, let's go get my ship. I'll see you when I get to my ship, peeps, okay? Oh, would you look at this, people? It's given me one of those sail ships. And yes, I'm a Viking again. Something that I have been doing on the way over to my ship is blasting any hazardous flora I see, mainly because they're going to give you oxygen. Now, you can get close and pick some oxygen off the side of them if you're really feeling brave, but if they do actually hit you or whatever with their poison at this early stage of game, it might not go too well for you. Anyway, I'm just going to zap this one over there. Oops. Uh-oh. I've um I've upset sentinels. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Sorry, sentinels. Let's get in my ship. Let's hide. Boom! We're inside the ship. Hopefully they can't find me. They probably will find me. Right. Okay. Pure ferrite and dehydrogen jelly. Well, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Okay. Um, how am I going to create that? Well, I've still got some dehydrogen jelly. Up. Well, no, I haven't got enough to make some dehydrogen jelly right now. No, no, I do not. Okay. Right. Well, let's jump on out of the ship. Hopefully, they're not going to try and chase me down, people. Uh, let's go up this way. Let's see if we can find some more of those blue gems. There's some right there. Dehydrogen. That's what I need to make some dehydrogen jelly. Okay. So let's get up here. I'm just checking that I was definitely recording them, people. If you saw my side glance. Damn it! I need an advanced beam for that one. All right, well, there's some more over this way. Some quite steep inclines on this planet. Alright, well this one's all intermixed in with all the carbon. Well, that's okay. I'll make short work of these. Take that you, we're going to get some Atlantiums as well. It's nice seeing the blue crystals merged in with all the purple ones, isn't it? Very nice. Now you see up in the top right hand corner, just above my head, my mining beam, you see that it's going red. Well if you just gingerly take your finger off the throttle and then stick it back down again, try and keep it red, you're going to be able to get a heck of a lot more resources. You just we've got to be careful you don't burn your your uh, multi tool out, but you're going to be doing a heck of a lot more damage. Uh, pretty cool, huh? Pretty nifty little tip that one. It's um, I'd say that it's an advanced tip. I don't know. I don't know whether it is or isn't. You make your minds up whether you knew that before. But anyway, there we go. Boom. Right. So we've got all that sort of stuffage. Let's um, let's uh, go over here. Let's make the uh, that stuff. Lovely jubbly. 
What else did I need to... Uh, I think I needed uh, some pure ferrite. Yes. Have they given me a... Uh, they have. They've given me a portal of a... No, they haven't. I need to make some metal plating first, which is going to use up some of my ferrite dust, which I kind of want to keep to turn into pure ferrite. Okay. Well, that's now let's put it down. Boom. Open this up. I'm going to have to stick some carbon in to fuel the dang thing. Chikapow. Oh, it's already 100% full. Oh, that's, that's handy dandy. Ah, we haven't got a lot of ferrite dust. Let's just chuck in what we have got. That's that's going to be spun into freaking stuffage really quickly. Let's see if... Pure ferrite... Ah, I need an advanced mining tool for that one. What about you guys down there? Can I get ferrite dust from all the way over here? That'd be nice if I can. Go on. Oh, this, this freaking mining tool is awesome. The only thing is, it does overheat rather rapidly. But if you use that little tip, tip that I mentioned earlier, you can keep it red burning hot and smash these rocks really quickly look at that oh that's freaking great awesome so there we go let's uh, let's burn the heck out of that rock down there now i could scan these and get the secondary element as well i suppose couldn't i having a bit of fun with this but when we do take off in the ship you can shoot the planet and shooting the planet is going to get you a heck of a lot of carbon a heck of a lot of um ferrite and all sorts of other stuff right so we've got some pure ferrite lovely in you go i don't know how much pure ferrite i actually need Let's just stick in 83 of it. Let's see how we get on. Right, how much pure ferrite did I actually blink in? It'd help if I paid more attention, wouldn't it? I only need 50. I only need 50. That's cool. This is on the bake right now. It's 95% done. There we go. We've got, we've got an abundance of the stuff. Right, anyway, let's um, pick up that. Make sure you take your portable tech with you. That's why it says portable on the freaking tin poops. Righto. Now, I don't want to upset those sentinels next to my ship. If I can help it, people. Uh, there's probably one more thing that I've got to repair. I can't remember what it freaking is that I've got to repair. The launch thrusters and also I think the pulse engine, something like that. You know, if we get fairly close to the ship, I would like to get those blue crystals. But if I start mining that, I think that's going to upset the sentinels slightly. So we, we won't do that. We'll just get in the ship and we'll do the repairs inside the ship. Here we go. Come on, let me in. Righto, let's uh, get that repaired then. And chikaboom, chikaboom. We can fix it. I guess we can. Hermetic seal and a metal plate. All right. Well, can I craft these while I'm still sitting inside the ship? Metal plate. What do I need for the hermetic seal? Condensed carbon. Dang it! Oh, I've got a I've got a personal refiner as well. So let's uh, let's just let's just fuel. Oh, it's it's just told me it's already fueled. It was empty a second ago, wasn't it, people? That's weird. That's really weird. Okay, there we go. Let's um put all that in. Condensed carbon on the on the bake. Lovely jobs. How much did I actually freaking need, though? Again, I didn't pay much attention. Hermetic seal. Let's see if I can craft one. How much do I need for the hermetic seal? Oh, I need, need 30. Oh, for fudge's sake. All right, well, let's go get some more carbon then, people. I need to get away from these sentinels because I don't want to upset them when I start blasting stuff with my mining laser. So here we go. Let's blast this mushroom here. Hopefully they can't see me from where they are. Lovely. Now, the bigger the thing you blast, the more carbon you're going to get. So, okay. Oh, I'm going to have to refuel it using that carbon that I just half inched. So, you see that big mushroom over there? If I can zap that, hopefully that's going to give me all the carbon that I could ever dream of. Dream a dream. Die, you. Heck yes. I want your lovely carbon. Give me your carbon. Oh, for fudge's sake. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. All right, fine. Oh, lovely, lovely. You've got to use carbon to get carbon. Lovely. All right. Come on. Come on. A lovely, lovely carbon. And explode. Ex there we are. Done. That exploded. How much carbon did I get from that? 51. So probably not enough. Let's grab some of the carbon from this little guy. He's taking a heck of a lot of freaking killing. Die. And some more from this one. Okay. Let's just grab some more carbon there. Okay. Well, can you give me carbon? I can grab carbon from you. Lovely. Okay, and some more from that one. I could scan it, get a secondary element. If you're not too sure what I mean by secondary element, let's give it a scan, I'll show you. So when I pop this, rather than just get carbon, I'm also going to get oxygen. Oxygen's very good for topping up your life support, actually, people. All right, okay, right, well, let's uh, let's make some more condensed carbon then, shall we? Let's uh, get this. No, not that. This carbon. Let's chuck that in there. Lovely. And I just spotted that I've got a little crystal here. Sometimes that can give you some lovely little extra bits of resource. Okay, well, we've got that bundling about. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We only need 60. We've got the 60 now. 
Uh, I'll leave that going in the background. But let's uh, make the the hermetic seal. Pow! And now I've got to go back to my blanking ship, haven't I? Where is my blanking ship? There it is, over there. Meow. I'm on my way, little ship. I love the fact that this ship is my logo colours. Yes, red, white and black. You can see my logo sort of above my head up here. There we are. Yeah, I've got free logos because my channel does free things. I do gaming, vlogs and talks. Oh, look, just got a subscriber. Yeah, thank you there. Spooky Pappy. <laughs> thank you very much for subscribing. All right, well, here we are. Done, and uh, let's go into here and let's see if we can get that fixed located. Chicka pow, chicka boom, and we're done. That's that done. Now, when I take off, I am going to pop this badge. What's the next one? Search for clues. Continue the investigation. Construct a head schematic. What the fudge? Okay, all right, well, let's venture into space and let's see if something pops up as the next mission sort of brief, anyway, people. Let's take to the stars. Chicka pow. Up into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Discovered by Hello Games. Nice! And I, I think I'm going to head towards the station, maybe. Um, it's got the station marker there. Made your way into the sky. Yeah, I guess. And I'm half expecting some sort of message to pop up in a second. But we'll see. Hypercore. Oh, great. Prepackaged teleporter receiver unit. Nice! Fantasticate. Alright, well, let's, let's get that installed then. That's going to come in handy. And look, I can stick that straight in. I've got warp fuel. What the... Okay, all right, fine. All right, trace the sentinel echoes. Press L3. Aha! Looks like someone's put a freaking base there, mate. I wish there was a way to toggle off, like, um, base markers and comms balls. But anyway, I'll see you down there, people. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, people, well, we're going to be arriving any second now. It's going to be interesting seeing whose base is actually here as well, I guess. Oh, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good distance away. And it looks like it's at an archive. I wonder if I've actually got to go to the archive. Because normally they, they give you the rough location, don't they? You know what? I might just chance it. Because there... Yeah, approximate location. I think it's going to send me to this archive. So I'm going to fly on down to the archive. Budget, mate. Let's do that. Let's land here. Normally they stop people from building at sort of like points of interest. Especially on expeditions and weekend missions and stuff. Well, they have in the past anyway. Let's see if this is where I needed to be. All right. So, approximate location. Hopefully this is... Yep, I think that's where I need to go. I need to go into here. Right, oh, people. Let's head on over. Dum -dum, dum -dum, dum -dum, dum -dum, dum -dum. Now, there, there can be some vendors in these places that sell some pretty rare stuff. So, it might be worth just checking with them to see what they've got. Okay, Amino Chamber, a lot of this is overpriced for me right now, but I bet you I need some of this later. It wouldn't surprise me, I might have to be coming back here, but it looks like he's got the full freaking repertoire of everything that he could ever want. So actually, it might be a good thing that there is a base mar marker here, people. Tell that. Okay, right, let's head on up. Looks like we've got to go and interact with the actual archive. Let's go do that then. Sweet. Chapao! Do you hear us? Do you hear me? Because uh, consumed all of creation and rejected. Okay. One blueprint from an infinite number. One blueprint from the ways to be. One construct. Extract blueprint. I copy the blueprint, a blueprint from the archive database. Whoever left this message at the auto face wish for someone to find this. This construct. Holy fudge. Metal plating, ion battery, and a microprocessor to make the actual head. Now, I should be able to buy the microprocessor rather than make one, because the actual ingredients for making a microprocessor isn't so micro. Um, yeah, there's a lot that goes into making microprocessors, people inside the view of us. So I just head on down here. I mean, yeah, construct autophage head which I haven't got the resources, so I need, what, four metal platings. I haven't even got enough to make one metal plating. I should have shot the planet with my ship, like I mentioned earlier. Got a load of freaking resources that way. What else? Ion battery. Um, and can I make an ion battery if I wanted to? No, I need cobalt, so I need to go in a cave to get cobalt. And the last thing that I need to make is the microprocessor. I'll show you the ingredients. Carbon nanotube, one, but loads of chromatic metal. All right, fine. All right, finally, finally, finally. I mean, if I go over to here, sometimes you can buy um, the actual circuit boards, but they are quite expensive, 27 grand. All right, okay. I also would like to buy some Starship fuel. 
and some other bits and bobs. So you know what I might do? I might take to the sky in my ship and just shoot the heck out of the planet for freaking ages until I've got a shed load of resources that I can sell. Okay, that's not my ship. <laughs> oh, fudge and heck. Alright, okay, let's head on over. Let's head into my ship. And I'll show you what I mean about shooting the planet so you can get resources. Alright, there we are. Let's uh, take to the sky. And I'm just going to shoot all of this. I mean, we can get back here quite easy because someone's added a nice convenient base marker there. So actually, whoever put the base there, thank you very much for putting the base there. And uh, yeah, you can see that I'm getting quite a lot of um, ferrite dust. I'm getting quite a lot of uh, yeah, carbon and things like that. So I'm just going to fly over. I'm just going to do this for about, what, maybe 20 minutes or so. I don't know. Until I get bored and then I fly back to the actual base in a bit once I've got a shed load of resources. Oh, I've got rockets as well so you can fire rockets down but just be careful you're not quite close to the planet's surface when you do that because you can put a lot of damage into yourself and kill yourself. Kill those plants, get some oxygen from them as well. Nice, lovely jubbly. Right, well I think you get the idea. I'm going to be doing this for quite a while now and then I'll be right back with you people. Oh, you've got to be careful you don't shoot a freaking sentinel as well or else sentinel interceptors might come inbound and try and kill you. So there is that. That that can be a little bit annoying if that happens. But yeah, there we are. A uh, nice little tip for you. I'll get some dehydrogen. Oh gosh. Swap to my rockets. And blow up a portion of the planet. Let's fire at that, whatever that is. Boom. And yeah, cool. Hold on. What is that? Oh, it's salt. It's a salt deposit. I thought it was emerald for a second there, people. Uh, that sells for a freaking shed ton. So yeah, that would have been nice. Oh look, there's a load of sodium down there. I might go land there and go and pick up all of those sodium plants because that's really good for hazard protection. So yeah, if you see anything like that, be sure to land, be sure to pick it up, but just be conscious that um, you might need launch fuel to take back off again. So I'm going to touch on down here, but I'll reconvene with you once I've got a shed load of freaking units. Another way you can make units, people, is to scan creatures, but not only to scan them, if you shoot them, you are going to get quite a lot of sort of creature parts, and creature parts and mordite, funny enough, sells for quite a lot. Now I am trying to look for a cave entrance, here's a cave I think here, let's just go and see how deep this cave is, because I do need to go and get myself a shed load of cobalt while I'm in here. It's not a deep cave. Now you know I've got the terrain manipulator, if I start digging into here, Bum, 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 bum. get underneath the ground when I scan it should show me some new markers some new icons that I don't normally see hopefully one of them is going to be an undergroundy type thing like a subterranean relic or something like that poppy roots that's not it right well I carry on digging and hopefully I'll see a marker in a bit people that would help me find myself a cave oh look we've got a badge that I haven't popped yet what's that going to give me Okay, that's going to give me a few things. Nice. Band hazard protection unit. Sweet. Okay. Coolio. Uh, let's just carry on digging for a bit. Thank you. What, what's that giving me exactly? It's giving me this to install. So if I stick that next to the one that's got the same picture on it, I should get adjacency bonus. See, they've both gone white. Lovely jubbly. And it's like if I move that one to there, They've now got adjacency bonus as well. They've already got adjacency bonus. If I move that one into there, that's a boosted slot. That's now helped me out massively. In fact, if I put that one on there and that one there, that should help me too. It's a shame it doesn't display stats over here so you can see exactly what that's done. Because that has helped me. Trust me, it has. All right, so metal plating. I still can't do the metal plating. Um, I need an ion battery. I, I haven't got any of the greens yet, people. So, yeah, let's uh, carry on. Let's see if I can spot a, one of those logo -y marker things now. There's something... Oh, no, that's buried cache. We don't want that. Fudge and heck. Okay, normally I find caves really easily, but because I'm streaming, I guess, and because I'm trying to show you guys something, it's just not working as it usually does. I, I'll be right back with you when I spot one of these freaking icons that I want to show you people. All right, one second. Okay, that's pretty much as soon as I stopped recording, there's one over there, subterranean relic. We've locked in. Now these also sell for a fair few units anyway, so it's all sort of ambient type stuff. So let's just dig on over to this way. This should find me a lovely little cave. I've got to be careful that I don't terrain manipulate my subterranean relics out of existence, because that happens as well, so just be a little bit mindful of that. Okay, we've arrived located and it should be a lovely cave. There I can get all my cobalt. I can pick up all these little subterranean relics, get myself some lovely cashola for selling them. Okay, right. Um, it's not the biggest of caves. Dang it. Uh, but we have got 
Ah, I used the terrain manipulator rather than the, the thing I should have used. All right, all right. Let's have a look at it. Oh, that, that's not carb. That's not that's not cobalt. All right, there's some on the ceiling over here. I think these ones are okay to mine. Some of them are imposters. Some things you can't mine. They're just there for uh, you know window dressing. And they haven't got a secondary element. Sometimes they give platinum and all sorts of stuff, but no, not this time. Right, well, I'm just going to be mining a load of cobalt. I'm going to look for some more subterranean relics, get a shed ton of freaking cobalt while I'm in here. And then I've got to go get myself some more ferrite dust. Inside of my ship, I've got a load of ferrite dust now from shooting the planet. I could fly back towards that base. I haven't done 20 minutes of shooting, though, people. You saw the amount of shooting I've done. You saw me land, so uh, here we go. Well, chums, I just got lucky. I got myself a hyperdrive module out of some damaged tech on the way back to my ship, people. Heck yes, which is pretty darn freaking sweet. Now, what I could do is do something a little bit sneaky here. So if I go into my build menu, into here. Now, I've already got one personal refiner. There it is, there it is. Now, if I crafted another one of those personal refiners, uh, which if I go into my build menu, let's put down one. And then go into my build menu again and go to put down another. It says I need metal plating one and I need oxygen. You can duplicate stuff using multiple refiners, but um, I think I'll leave that be for now. All right, okay, well, we've got quite a lot on me. Oh, look, there's another creature over there that I can murder. But before I murder him, I'm just going to scan him. Boom. And now let's murder him. He's quite a cutie. A um, bit of a shame, but um, we're going to murder him anyway. Oh, I haven't got no. Die. Yeah, there we are. Got some creature parts. Lovely, lovely. Strider sausage. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to take to the sky. I'm going to shoot the heck out of the planet. I've already got quite a lot of resources inside of my ship. And look, I can pop these. They're going to sell for quite a fair bit. That's not going to sell for much, but these will, um, or should. Uh, 7,000, that's not too bad. All right, okay. And we've got a few other bits and bobs. Oh, they sell for quite a lot. The Adelantium, that sells for quite a fair bit. So does that. Fudge and heck, but I think I might need that. Okay. Right, anyway, let's take to the sky and let's just shoot the heck out of the planet and we'll head back to that base marker, people. All right, Coolio. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, what's that that I just shot? All right, anyway, we've run out of launch thruster fuel, so I can't land anywhere of interest again. I'll just be landing back at that base in a bit. Okay, well, I've flown on back to that base. Now, if you don't see the base, or if you ever want to set something, you can put in a personal beacon. So you bring up your scanner, and you press square, and you can put down a little beacon like that. So that, that helps you get back to any place of interest that you want to get back to. Just be careful, you only get one of those to put down at a time, so if you place it again, it just moves it. Anyway, I need to get myself some launch thruster fuel here, and I need to sell a few other bits and bobs. Let's go do that quickly at the Galactic Trade Terminal, and then uh, I'll see if I can buy one of those things. So there we go. Let's sell. Let's sell the Strider sausage. Let's sell the. Um, I can get some more of that if I need it. I'm going to keep the crystalline heart because I think that I might need that. There's the vortex cubes that I picked up. I might as well sell all the silicate powder, even though I don't get much for it. I keep hold of my cobalt for now, but I can sell the surplus in a bit. I'll sell the scooped innards. I'll sell the mordite. And I think that's all I can really sell at the moment. So I've got a shed load there. Let's see if I can buy that circuit board because the circuit board. Yeah, I can buy one. There we go, we've bought one, and I, I can't afford Starship launch for us to fuel now, people. That sucks. All right, fine. All right, well, let's um let's start building some bits and bobs then. So I want to build this guy. I, I've got the uh, microprocessor, so that's cool. I need to make the ion battery. So ion battery, I can make the ion battery. And what else do I need? I need the metal plate in times four. So one, two, three, four. There we are. Now I can make the head. Boom, we're done. All right, lovely jobs. Um, let's go into the old menu then, and let's pop that one then. Chikapow! All right, we've got ourselves an awesome scanner module there, people, by the looks of things. That's a reward and a half. Where did that go? Let's go and install that then. Um, I stuck that next to there. We've got the adjacency bonus there, people. Pretty darn nice. Okay, what else do I need to do? Oh, I can go install that in my ship. I don't know whether I'm close enough to install it in my ship. Oh, I am. There you go. And that's improved its hyperdrive range. I've still got some. I've still got some bits and bobs inside of my exosuits. So let's grab those out of there because I can flog all of this as well. Coolio, and let's jump into here, and we'll sell those bits too. 
Now, when you are in the cell menu, you can swap inventory between your ship and also your person. So I didn't have to move it over. I could have just done it by pressing square. In fact, if I go on to square in a second, we'll see if there's anything I want to sell from inside my ship. I could sell the remainder of this cobalt. I uh, don't know where I need some more. I'll sell it anyway. There we go. And what's inside of my ship that I could sell? I'm going to keep hold of some of these because they're good base utilities to have. But shooting the planet did help me quite a lot. And I didn't use any dupe methods or anything like that. So all good. Sweet. What was that pre-packaged module there? What's this? Oh, okay. We've got an advanced mining laser as well. Really? Okay. Well, that's... um. I could do with putting it somewhere like there and then move that there. There you go. Now I've got the adjacency bonus on those. Cool. Right. Uh, let's have a look what we've got now. We've got to do this one. Current objective. Present the construct to the Atlas. Seed of dreams. Okay. Uh, right. Well, I've sold some things now. Can I buy some launch thruster fuel? I mean, I might just be able to craft some. Let's just try crafting some. Let's just see if I've got the base utilities to craft some launch thruster fuel. Metal plating. Okay, well, I've got a shed load of metal plating, so let's uh, let's not waste the, nat the units. Let's see if I can craft myself maybe two of them for now. Yes, I can. There we go. We're done. All right, fine. Let's, um, let's go do the next part of the mission then, people. Hopefully, we've almost finished phase one. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Well, let's take on off, and let's go and hit that up and see what happens. Let's take to the sky. Chicka boom! And I've already charged up my warp fuel earlier, so. Okay. And is it going to give me a mission brief, or do I have to go in and make sure I've got the mission selected? Expedition. Select Decated. Hyperdwarf Brown. Present the construct to the Atlas. Okay. Okay. Well, how, how am I going to get. Okay, go, go to the galactic map. Chicka boom! And it should find myself an atlas station the only thing is is it hasn't it hasn't found me one um that's fun isn't it all right you know what that's probably a good thing that it hasn't yet anyway because you see that ship marker that's all the way over there i quite like the sentinel ships you know i was shooting the planet earlier to get myself some resources but if you can fix yourself the sentinel ship it hovers in place so it's very easy to shoot things rather than fly on over past them. It's far better as a resource scouting ship. Anyway, I'll see you when I get to the ship. Okay, well, we've arrived, decoded at said crashed ship. All right, cool. Let's go and see if I can just claim the dang thing. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Normally you have to repair these things, but you can take this out anyway. I can have that, and I can have this, lovely, and I can have that. And the thing that I've got to fix is this. All right, so I need quite a lot to fix it. Now, there used to be a little sneaky sort of sneaky sneak that you can do. If you go around and speak to this autophage that's here and you do the first bit of dialogue, then exit out. So if I take that out of there and then press circle to come out, interacting with the ship, it acted like it was fixed before. That looks like it's been patched. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I need to get myself all of that stuff. Radiant shard, inverted mirror, harmonic brain. I don't think I can get any of that lovely stuff. Anyway, let's just talk to the autophage. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. A load of hex code people. So that can be sort of, you know, um, deciphered and decoded. There we go. Anyhow, I don't think I'm going to bother fixing up this um, sentinelized ship then, people. Because even if I did, there's quite a lot of repair work to be done on the inside of it, I'd imagine. Don't know, actually, peeps. But, um, yeah, let's see if I can now do the rest of the, the freaking mission in, in question. Let's see if I can leave this system. I mean, technically, I would like it, to be honest, but... I, I, there's there's too many resources to get. I'd have to shoot a load of sentinels and all sorts of stuff. Like I can't be asked to do that right now. Right, well let's head on up into the atmosphere. Okay, reach a corrupted sentinel world. I, I, I've, read, I've I've already done that. Okay, return to salvage. No, I don't want to. So expedition. Right, so there you go. Let's hit this one up then. Let's see if it lets me do this now. Okay, so boom. Current mission. All right, fine. Let's just do that then. Let's ah, there's a sent there's an Atlas station right there. Sweet. Okay, cool. So it has worked, people. It was just me being an idiot. All right, well I'll see you when I get inside of the Atlas station. Okay, right. Well I've arrived, decoded, and there's the Atlas station right there, people. So pretty darn cool. 
Is that recording? It is recording. <laughs> Fun times. Well, let's fly inside the old Atlas station. And let's, um, st uh, there's usually some sort of like these little bubbles that you can pop and learn Atlas words. I don't know whether I'm going to learn the Atlas words. It still gets me coming out of this little box like that. Isn't that cool? Anyway, let's uh, fly on in. And uh, yeah, there's, like I say, there's these little sort of like, almost like, uh, you know, bubble wrap that you get in this packaging. It almost feels like that in a roundabout way. It's not as satisfying though. Sometimes you get an Atlas word, sometimes you don't get nothing. But um, yeah, it could be a bit of a pointless exercise because I'm never going to learn all the Atlas words inside of this expedition. There's freaking tons of them. But yeah, these, these are the things I'm about. Look, if I go jump on one, boom. There you go. I've learned the Atlas word for Atlas. Awesome! Well, let's head on down this ramp here. I'll probably learn a couple of others on the way down this ramp. Um, oh, you see these pedestals at the end here? Sometimes they give you uh, warp fuel. So let's see if we can grab some warp fuel from these. That'd be nice. Yes, I've got a warp cell. Fantastic. I bet we're going to need that for our journey. All right, well, let's uh, interface with the Atlas and let's see what we get then, peeps. I stand before the Atlas. It's unknowable if it cannot know me. It cannot know any of this. And yet I am compelled here to offer it my own fledgling creation, my construct. Here we go. Present construct parts. Well, this is very new. The Atlas cannot react. It does not react. It is all noise, yet it's wordless. Its voice is the entire universe. All right. Very cryptic stuff, people. Cool. An Atlas seed is revealed to me. I take my leave. Okay, cool. I got the seed of dreams. Dang it. It's going to cost me freaking chromatic metal to make. So I've got to go back down to a planet, people. Got to get a load of copper and spin that into chromatic metal. Fun exercise. All right, so we've visited our first Atlas station. Please give us some chromatic metal as a reward. That would be lovely. Um, it's going to give me warp, warp core plans. Well, Okay, fine, but I've, I've got a load of warp fuel. Okay, Corleo. Okay, well, let's uh, head on down. Brilliant. Lovely. Well, that needs storm crystals. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, right, and what else have we got then? Okay, forge this thing. All right, fine. So I've got to actually make the uh, the, the crystally thing. Have I? Oh, looks like a, oh, I haven't got enough. I've got to make the I've got to get the chromatic metal, people. I've got nothing that spins into chromatic metal on my person right now. So I'm gonna. Oh, what's up? No, that doesn't. That spins into gold. Right. Well, we head on down to the uh, planet and we get ourselves a shed load of copper. Then peeps. All right. So let's fly on out and let's find a planet that's got some copper on it, or it could be like a cadmium or whatever. I doubt we we're in one of those systems because you need certain hyper drives to get to those we're flying out we we'll see what system we we'll see what planets are inside of this system It'd be nice to find one that isn't got storms on it but then again if i do get some storm crystals it might help with my journey what the fudge is that oh it's a station but it's a very shiny lovely one well that's a sharded planet and it's got copper gold and sodium on it you know what let's go there let's go there uh yeah so these planets are like the exotic sort of weird biome planets and you get a fair few of these and get trophies on them they're not that great for resource gathering but considering that i'm only after some copper which is fine sometimes you can see copper as you're flying down as a resource deposit embedded into the ground so let's have a look see if i get lucky with my oh look i just was saying about this could happen and it, it looks like it's happened all right, well, let's go land in between these two deposits. Let's hope they're not gold. Sometimes when you get close to them and start shooting, it will tell you what it is. So let's have a look, see. Copper, that's what I need. Lovely. Go here and land there. I don't want to land on it. I want to land right next to them. And then I'm just going to be using my terrain manipulator. There we go, terrain manipulator. And I'm going to shrink the beam by using L1, and that makes the beam smaller. Which means that, yeah, you don't gather as much resources in one blast, but you're going to get a lot more resources out of the ground. There's a little sneaky tip there, peeps. All right, well, let's grab all of this then. Lovely, lovely. I'm, I'm going to be here for a while doing this. And there's two deposits here. I might even get some extra because chromatic metal comes in handy for a heck of a lot of things inside of game, peeps. So, yeah, I'll be right back with you. See you in a bit. Just as a little bonus tip, once you've got a load of copper, you can go into like your exosuit and just grab said copper and throw it inside of your personal inside of your personal refiner. That should start doing its thing. We've cleared a hole for it to do its thing and begin. There you go. And why that's chugging along doing that, you can carry on mining more. So you're doing two things at once. Save yourself a little bit of time, people inside of the viewerverse. Heck yes. Multitasking with Captain Steve. Heck yes. I want to go make myself a cup of tea in a minute. Shame it's downstairs. Can't multitask that one. 
Okay, chums. Well, I'm back, and I've mined both of those deposits, and the total amount of chromatic metal I've got is 538. I need to find myself a shed load more of this copper. All right, I'll be right back with you when I've dug out some more. Oh, you know what, people? I'm a right idiot. I thought it said 1,000. It's not. It's 100. <laughs> brilliant. Well, I've medicated it. Right, okay, brilliant. Um, right, so expedition... I've made it. I've made it. It's done. It's done, mate. I've done it. I've done that. Um, oh, there you go. I just had to be a bit more patient for the freaking badge to pop up. Phew. I thought that was knackered. I thought I'd run into a problem. All right, cool. Well, we collect the cake to that. Lovely jubbly. Yep. Gold nugget. Cool. Gold. Supreme hyperdrive upgrade. Heck yes. Okay. All right. Um, let's see if we can get that installed then, because that's going to be freaking handy dandy. There it is there. And always an S-Class. We'll slap that in there. You know what? Let's move that. Hold on. I, I thought I had a boosted slot underneath this somewhere. Uh, obviously, I didn't. Have I got any boosted slots in here? Are you boosted? No, no boosted slots as yet, peeps. All right. Well, let's put that in the middle of the two anyway. There we go. Adjacency, hyperdrive range. Did that make any difference? 594, 595. And a 612, that's actually better that way for some reason. All right, fine. A little bit of jiggery pokery. A little bit of jiggery pokery. Done. Again, okay, right. Oh, and what's next then? Pilgrimage. Complete the first pilgrimage. Reach the first rendezvous point. All right, fine. Let's do that then. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's take one off. Cool. Take to the skies. Done. And uh, there we are. Reach first rendezvous point. Need to get out to the galactic map. I've run out of launch first. Holy fudge! What are you? What are you freaking? What are you? All right, um, let's have a listen. Aha! Kazert, and it's giving me all of these sort of things. Probe structure, Hercules. And there you go, hex code. Hex code. I've translated all of these people. I put the link up earlier inside of this video. If you, there should be a little exclamation mark up there. If you hit that, it should give you that previous link. Um, if not, I'll put it as an end card anyway to the video. So anyway, let's have them do this. Right, so we've got ourselves Radiant Shard. I needed that to fix the freaking Sentinel ship earlier. Can I blow you up? I'm going to blow you up, mate. I'm going to freaking blow you up. I'm going to throw missiles at you and everything. But it looks like it's getting damage points. I saw inside the trailer them blow this up. I don't know whether I should be blowing it up. But we've done it anyway. Got ourselves a heck of a lot of Atlantium. Whoa, and you're gone. I don't know whether I should have blown that up. I think that might be escape pods for the consciousness of these things. Oh, well, um, that's done now. All right. Uh, OK, so, yeah, I need to get some tritium, uh, which I get tritium from shooting asteroids because I've run out of pulse engine fuel now, people. Well, I can but hope that uh, there's there's load of asteroids when I pop into the next universe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a chance. Took a chance on me. Dun -dun -dun -dun. OK, here we go. And we're heading over to our first rendezvous point. Hopefully I can jump all the way there now I've upgraded my warp drive. I guess I can. Freaking awesome. I'll see you in the system. Hello, people. Well, I think we've arrived at Coated. Yes, we have. And I'm looking for the rendezvous point marker. It's going to take a little while for it to pop up. But before I can go to said rendezvous marker, I need to find myself some asteroids. And I need to shoot said asteroids to get some tritium. Okay, let's uh, head on over there. Oh, they look like just... <sighs> Fudge and heck! A load of freaking freighters spawned in where the asteroids were. Arson biscuits. Okay, well, not about over here then. Let's go and scan these guys. Okay. I need some tritium. Okay, are you tritium? Be tritium. You know you want to be tritium. Boom! Be tritium. Yes, it is. Trintium. Nice one. Let's head on over here. Let's shoot that one. Get some more trintium. Give me some trintium. Yes, and what about you? Oh look, we've got a load of asteroids here, people. We're saved. Heck yes, we can get ourselves a load of fuel from this little asteroid field. Right, I'm just going to go shoot a load of freaking roids. Not that kind of roids, people. Right, and asteroids. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to get myself a, a shed load of tritium so I can then fly around this universe like a man possessed. Heck yes, come on. Golden nugget. I completely missed the asteroid. My weapons have overheated. All right, I'll be right back with you in a bit, peeps. I'll meet you at the exp I'll meet you at the rendezvous point. Yeah, cool. I'll see you down there. Okay, there, people. All right. Well, I'm flying down to rendezvous one, and as you can see there, it just moved, didn't it? Um, right. So I don't really know what to expect at rendezvous one. Now it's it's going to be an approximate location, so I'm having a little scout around because sometimes 
people leave comms balls by these things and it's a good marker as an indicator of where you need to be however I'm not seeing any comms balls not in close proximity to where I am right now I'm not seeing any colossal structures or anything interesting at the moment people so you know what it looks like I'm gonna have to land here and I'm gonna have to do this little search on foot yeah because I'm not seeing anything of interest or ought. Okay, right, well, let's uh, let's land somewhere around here then. It's another corrupted weld with a nice purpley type hue to it. Alright, well, um, let's jump on out of the ship. Uh, okay, chicka boom. Uh, let's have a little look see around then. Alright, so this way, 1,700 U's this way. Oh, God, that's freaking miles, isn't it? It's really, really far. Alright, fine. Well, we're going to head on over yonder hill then. Fun times. Oh look, there's a pigeon. Let's scan the pigeon. Scan the pigeon. Oh no, I'm on sweep scanner and I can't be asked to swap back. So let's just carry on. You know what? I will let you know once I reach it. And it does look like there is a comms marker over there. It says that it's going to take me 20 minutes to get to that one though. I can't see it taking that long. So maybe that comms marker is a duff one. Well chums, I'm pretty much on top of this marker now. It's like what? 500 views this way and I don't see any structures other than someone's base over there. It's my good old friend Tesseract's base. Heck yes. Hello there Tesseract. Oh what's that down there though? There's another camp down there people. Alright fine. Well we're, we're heading towards where the marker is anyhow. It says that that's the way that I've got to go but I'm, I'm wondering whether I'm going to have to go to that camp not to that base but we, we will see if something spawns in i mean i didn't see anything when i was flying over here did i so who freaking knows let's just uh, let's just jump it ah it looks like there's a storm crystal there so maybe this planet does get storms from time to time ouch that that kind of hurt all right aha it is this way i think it is that camp that i've got to go to heck yes it's that camp right up let's head on over to that camp then all right people i'll see you when i get to the camp Okay, a few sodium plants on my way back down to said camp, people. Let's grab them. Lovely, lovely daffodils, I guess. Uh, yep, nearly down there. Uh, right, this looks like there's a cave there. Now, I did manage to pop a couple of radiant shards as well, because I've got that advanced mining laser now. Technically, I could hit up another sentinel ship from here. And now that I've got... Well, I still don't want to get a sentinel brain, because trying to get one of those brains is a right pain in the neck. And yeah, that won't be fun. All right, cool. Well, we've made it here. So let's um, head on into the actual expedition. Because I think expedition phase one is now done, people. So there we go. Got a load of expansion sockets and all sorts of other stuff. Lovely. Storage augmentation. Don't mind if I do. Can I do that now? No, I'm going to have to go up to the station to do that. There's an appearance modifier inside of the station as well. I might make myself look a little bit snazzier as well, people. But yeah, I think at the start of next episode, I'm going to have a little look around this camp, make a few decisions on what I need to do, and where I need to go and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it looks like we can pop this final badge. Atlas poster plans. Lovely. So we've got all of that, people. There we go. Phase one is done. Heck yes. I'll take a photo of that. Lovely. Coolio. And yeah, oh, there we are. Constructed poster. Nice. Like this blueprints. Cool. And there we are. Done, done, and done. Phase one. Completed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, people. And if you have, join me for the next one. Hit that like and subscribe and all that sort of shenanigans. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.